Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. Checking in today on our Grex Nepenthes Titan's Mirror, which is Nepenthes truncata by Nepenthes Mira. Our last video on this Grex was filmed at the beginning of May, and it's the beginning of November now. And so it's been exactly six months, and those six months were summer months, uh, which is when you see a lot of the best growth on Nepenthes. In that video, the select clones were about this size. This is one of our sales stock right now. Uh, they were in two inch pots, they had a leaf span of about two to three inches, and they had a couple of pictures that were just starting to show color. But after a summer of growth, uh, and, uh, and a lot of sun, and, uh, and a bit of fertilizer, things are a bit different now. So this is now what the uh, select clones look like. As you can see, they've put on a huge amount of mass. The ones on the left were grown in the warm room over here. These ones were grown in our highland room. And so you can see that as it in the previous video, the warm conditions and li higher light seem to have uh, uh, led to a, a bigger overall growth. This is the biggest one that we have right now by leaf span. Uh, that's probably a 14 inch leaf span and this is the biggest leaf that any of the Titan's Mirror have produced yet. Uh, one interesting thing is when I was repotting these at the beginning of August, I selected one of each to go into a 5 inch pot rather than a rose pot. And those are actually smaller than the uh, next one down in a rose pot in terms of leaf span and, and mass above ground. So you've got that one, and this one is definitely bigger. And then you've got this one over here, uh, and then like this one has more mass above the soil level. However, I suspect that uh, the ones in the bigger pots are putting more energy into developing roots, and they might get, uh, they might get bigger uh, in the long run. Looking at the pitchers, they've gotten a good deal larger and the red color has really come out. Some of the uh, more recent pictures have shown a bit of variation. This one's very tubular, uh, whereas this big one has more of the Mira influence shape. It's a bit fatter and rounder. Um, we're still waiting to see what mature pictures will look like on these, uh, but they're looking pretty nice so far. And, uh, and a few of them have really distinctive uh, deep red color uh, with a little bit of kind of streaky orange and yellow highlights. Uh, it's been instructive to see how these grow when they are uh, in nice warm temperatures. Uh, they seem to liked, they seem to have liked getting repotted. We saw a big uh, leaf jump after we repotted them. Uh, one thing also is I've been fertilizing these via the pitcher fairly aggressively. That's a good way to fertilize Nepenthes is you uh, put either liquid fertilizer or like an Osmocote pellet or something in the pitcher. And one of the things that happens when you fertilize Nepenthes heavily is that the size of their traps uh, relative to their leaves gets smaller. So if you think about the fact that uh, the traps are there to get nitrogen, if they've got plenty of nitrogen, they won't invest as much in the traps, and instead they'll just put on, uh, put on more mass. That's fine for us because what we're trying to do is get these to grow to maturity as quickly as possible to see what they'll look like. But if you're a collector and you want to have nice, uh, nice traps, uh, it's good to fertilize. You'll put on some size there, but uh, maybe not every single pitcher. Uh, which is what we've been doing. See, there's uh, there's some burn from an Osmoco pellet that this got recently. In any case, uh, it's really impressive how big these have gotten. The reason I did this video is that last night I was looking at our YouTube channel and I saw the last Titan's Mirror video and uh, it's pretty impressive to go from this right here to this right there uh, in six months. So like a lot of the Titan crosses, there's a lot of vigor here and um, they're developing really nicely. We'll probably bring them all in to live in the warm room at this point uh, because we've demonstrated that that's uh, a better choice overall. Although again, these are no slouches. They're, pl they're plenty big and they've got some nice characteristics. So it's a cross that can be easily grown in uh, highland or intermediate conditions, but it probably prefers more of a warm intermediate. So that's Nepenthes Titan's Mirror. Um, we have a lot of these for sale right now on our website uh, and they're looking very good. They're, they're around this size. Um, but, uh, you know, you've got a lot to look forward to. They're going to have nice red color. Um, some of them are going to have this sort of rounded shape uh, from the Nepenthes Mira. A few other ones are a little bit more of the tubular uh, Nepenthes truncata shape. And we're still waiting for the parasome development. These are not fully mature. So uh, we'll have to check it back in another six months or so to see if they've gotten to a fully mature pitcher size. So thanks for watching this video about our Grex Nepenthes Titan's Mirror. Please comment if you've got any questions, uh, and remember to uh, like and subscribe to see more videos about our breeding program.